13 SA musicians who suffered exploitation. Number 1. Lady Do. In 2022, the Ama Piano star cast a manager for being dubious. She tweeted, My manager is telling people I'm not available for booking. He says he does not work on weekends and does not pay me on charge. Mind you, I don't work for him, he gets paid off my booking. He has started taking cash from promoters. I'm in hell, guys. I've been crying every day, G. However, she's better now, as she had dumped the manager, and she is currently focused on building herself and her finances. Number 2. Nomnebo Zikot. Nomnebo called out Open Mic Production for being dubious. She waged war against the music company for over a year due to a collaboration with Master KG on the song Jerusalem. The song had a huge breakthrough in 2019 and is currently sitting on over 5 million streams. Nomnebo said she was not paid a dime from the song despite the huge success it gained. Number 3. Black Diamond Black Diamond took their former record label Ambitious to court after the label tried deleting their music from their YouTube channel and all distributing platforms. In June, they won against Ambitious Entertainment, which was a major celebration for the Jew. But Ambitious Entertainment continues to provoke Black Diamond member Daniel Davis by deleting his videos from YouTube. Number 4. Makazi The Amagia hitmaker calls out open mic production for being exploitative in May 2023. The label renewed her contract without her permission and she revealed that she did not get a dime from all the sales they made in the company. The update given was that the singer took the company to court and she launched her own record label. Number 5. MT It is no secret that the rapper MT and his former estranged record label Ambitious Entertainment are not on each other's good book. MT revealed how he was exploited by Ambitious Entertainment. The label left him dry after his exit, and the awards won was not given to him. When MT left Ambitious, he dropped some files on how he was unfairly dismissed. Number 6. Zahara Multi-award winning Afropop musician Zahara claims she is owed millions of friends by a former record label TS Records. Zahara made allegations against TS Records executive TK Niza and Spooly Wolf, claiming that she was underpaid for her performances, the sales of her records, and royalties for when her songs were played. She made claims about her Monster 2011 debut album Loli, which she said sold more than 500,000 copies. Number 7. Intabase Dubai the musician recently went on a rant accusing the label of compensating him merely 3.7 per month. He has even threatened to leave the music industry over this allegation. The drama started after Intervasi Dubai said he was not paid a cent for his feature on Big Zulu's song Imal Eni. Big Zulu then released a statement saying his record label Inkavi Records paid ambitious entertainment to pay their artist as his share. Number 8. Tiho In December 2020, South African was shocked after Tiho said he has not been paid a cent for over five of his songs, though he owns the masters. The rapper did not mention names, but people assumed this Kaspanyovets record label Family Tree, which Tiho was signed to before departing to become independent. He claimed to have been fighting a silent bet, and he finally won. Number 9. Amanda Black, Fifi Cooper, Benchmark and Aries Amanda Black, Fifi Cooper, Benchmark and Aries, including Gigi Lamain, left Ambitious Entertainment with complaints of how the label did not have their best interests at heart. Gigi tried committing suicide but failed. Amanda filed a $1 million lawsuit against the former record label. She accused the label of breaching an exclusive management contract. And that would be all for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more content of your celebrities. So there's no relationship there. Do you believe that 
after the fallout with the label, they had a hand with the bad publicity. And the puma up and then in the how God in the end of the your name. The reason why I never came out that I've been robbed by money is because I was scared that Nzo Valela, my music everywhere. How did it happen? Try now and Google my music or try and download my music. You won't find it. Spotify, Ulo, whatever. No, yeah, don't, don't. You won't. You only find Mukodi. Mm. 